Welcome back, gamers, to another episode of the Eat Federation. This is Gadriel here, and we're jumping right back into the world of magic with Hogwarts Legacy. And remember where a place for gamers that love gaming can come to at the end of the day and relax. Well, hello there. If you come liked in, it, please hit the and like and subscribe button. Frogs, please it would really, really help us to get our Wait. analytics out there. Never too late to pet a kitty. Gonna learn a spell from Miss Weasley. I hope to God I get the lock pick, the lock picking spell quick. Oh. So I can pick locks and steal from people. Go and go see Weasley really quick. And then move on. Professor Weasley. away from prying eyes. Sorry about that. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard! I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I, I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Can I can I vanish a human being? I definitely hit those, but it didn't work, apparently. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those. Which one's Evanesco? Oh, 
Excellent work. I wonder if you I can make a person you are now vanish. In possession of moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. I have Let's so much moonstone. It's not even funny. Revelio. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that this? goodness? My old school bag. I waited for you I here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of parchment Can't than believe it's you'd still expected. Here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Revelio. Did miss something back here I want to grab since I'm here. Oh no, I'm not in. Okay, it's ahead. It isn't by me. Rebellion. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying. Revelio. Akio. Where did where did it go? This isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop! Revelio! No, not. Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! Bit offended the room, thought I needed a bath, cheeky thing. Revelio! How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Revelio. What was that? Was that a golden snitch? Perhaps you should suck you and find out. <laughs> Revelio. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Accio. Revelio. Ah, 
Kill. How to identify these unidentified shit? And this must be a spell. to you. Hello. Ah, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, well, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. Oh, sweet. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Those are better. <gasps> Scorch increased damage with incendio. No trait applied, no trait applied, no trait applied, no trait applied. But the gloves have a trait. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Oh, sweet. Very 
very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I have the Moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor?
dig things. You should be proud. Good work. Shall we move on? I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Boom, altar ring now. Yeah. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altar. I keep figuring hit T, not inventory. should be proud of all the potions you brewed. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when Professor you... Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie, as if I'm in the Forbidden Forest. Surrounded by shadows. Hmm, oh, sounds perfect. That's awesome. That is awesome. Hmm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. This place is cool. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. 
Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Ha! <laughs> Use it wisely, she said. I guess which is weird because sorry for hitting the mic with my shoulder my bad guys which is weird because I'm pretty sure this is the old lady and not uh the other dude unless he's making me go here to get the spells before he gets I've me I've always said that travel broadens the mind <laughs> Over here. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for <laughs> me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. Into the secret room. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Skeleton? Oh, the under loft. It's the wardrobe. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister. Anne. She loved that infernal game. Revelios I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Pretty sure they knew, the teachers knew, but they I know just didn't care. Met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, 
I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. <laughs> you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Okay. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confrengo. Very well. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Yeah, let's Sticks do it. The targets, though. I want to try this baby out. Best to keep the under control. Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah! Oh my god, this is amazing! Travels a bit farther than that of like Incendio. Revelio. I am Oh. Nice work. That's it. I think I've got it. Well done. There you go. I have to say, I <laughs> enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I <laughs> swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. There's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Me, Tan. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. The book I found in the restricted section was missing some pages. That's about it. Pity. Didn't think you'd disappoint me with so vague an answer. I suppose with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Oh, yeah. Not when I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. So I'm going to go kill those guys. <laughs> I needed this type of magic. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there. I can hear you. Oh, uh, hello, Ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. <laughs> no one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. 
I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Oh, he really Sebastian likes Sebastian. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Oh yeah, I'm buying that. <laughs> Focus potion. Wingardium Leviosa. I think that's my girl. Cause my girl talking to me. Wingardium Leviosa. I gotta grab three potions. Oops, my bad. <sighs> I don't think I'm supposed to be this rich right now. <laughs> or this level at this I point in the game. More cozy than Hogsmeade. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. Honestly, I always... What can I do for you today? Always need healing potions. A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. <laughs> so gear um, how do I use healing potion that I use the potions well it might be a potion slot up here right
Krieger. Excellent. The prisoners even look different when they get out of Azkaban. Living with Dementors takes a mighty... I mean, that's all I had to do? Wow. Just buy three potions and drink them, huh? Alright gamers, next episode we're going to pick up where we left off, so I'll see you next time Oi, on another episode of Yeet Federation. Me? Be safe, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like and subscribe.